I absolutely hate rocks. And soybeans. What the? Going. Jason's helping my combine give birth to a freaking boulder. Keep pushing, you got her. Nice. You know, I've farmed this farm for over 20 years, and I just dropped it, and I have been very much looking forward to making the last round on this piece of crap. What is up, everybody? I haven't uh, videoed anything here. Because we've just been going like mad combining. I still have 250 acres of beans left. Um, but I I went off of beans and kept cranking on corn because, I mean, the stuff's dry. I'm not paying any drying at the elevator. And the trucks are getting harder. To, to get to haul it away and uh, I don't want to worry about a storm coming through and knocking the corn down so we have been going like mad and I am down to 15 acres of corn in this field but the yields have been amazing on corn best yields I've ever had Everything's gone pretty smoothly. There hasn't been any anything really worth videoing. Other, let's see. Uh, last week, Mrs. G was running the cart. And we were dumping on the go and heard a big boom, and the combine kind of dropped to the side. I blew my outside dual tire clean off the rim. That was interesting. I couldn't see anything I hit. And what else happened to us? Um, honestly, I don't think we've really had anything else go wrong, luckily. God is what's left in this field and I will be done with corn beginning of October it's just insane but hey, stuff is dry and yielding quite well so you can't complain about that I guess I'll bring you back whenever I have uh, something something else to show you that uh, the next field of beans is uh, pretty much my best farm and those beans have looked amazing all year so we will uh, we will see hopefully uh, I have some good bean yields there it's all my other bean yields on the lighter soil they've They've all just been average at, average at best. Well, last eight rows of 2024 corn. It's only October 14th. I believe that is probably the earliest I have ever finished corn harvest. Still got probably three three or so days worth of beans because I'll be doing them by myself the rest of this week but 
weather's still supposed to be good. It hasn't rained forever. It'd be nice if we start picking up a little bit of rain to make tillage go easier. I just bought a new to me tillage tool today too. I'm excited to uh, have that delivered. It's been a uh, been a fall with I believe we had one rain day and it was only like a tenth of an inch is all. That's another first. That's it. Well, I'm back to beans. It's a big old field of beans here. 210 acres. I have not been able to get my yield monitor calibrated good for beans this year for whatever reason, but uh, I would say these beans are doing quite well. 640 wagon is full, 1,000 bushel cart. Uh, 2550s down there full. Two five fifties down there are full, and I've done forty five point eight acres. I would say that those are pretty darn good beans. I got nothing else to dump into. Oh yeah. And the grain tank is clear full on the combine also, um, ready to run over. So, I sold all the rest of the beans this fall when I could get 10 bucks cash at the elevator. But now the price of beans currently sucks. I hate filling these old freaking grain bins, but might as well go get an auger fill this tin can up and watch the price go even lower. Well, I got that bastard set up. Pretty nice auger tractor, huh? The nice thing about these, they got the 540 PTO shaft also. I borrowed the auger from my dad. I guarantee it'll snap in half or get knocked over or anything that can break on an auger will probably break. But as of right now, we're dumping. Morning. It's not a bad view out here. Other than all them stupid things. Got cold last night. I don't think it's 26. I just said on the radio it's 30, but <clears throat> come out here, get the grain cart. The elevator can only get me a semi right now. Uh, first thing in the morning before they have to go out on corn jobs, and since I'm filling the bin. out here in the morning fill the truck up with the cart load from yesterday or from last night and then kind of sucks because there's frost so go back home <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a little while till beans will go this morning can't see it but I've done a pretty darn big chunk of this field Mrs. G is taking the day off of work to help today. Fertilizer spreader over there. This Steiger knock on wood has run flawlessly since I rebuilt the motor. Um, 
we haven't had to put oil in it one time and uh, before we were putting like a gallon a day in it so it's run all fall and haven't had to add any oil to it I love this old girl good old tractor dumping these guys rock I love my elevator I'm not the greatest at the uh, oh my auger light is uh, sending me Morse code for some reason must not be grounded good I don't run the auger cart very often so I better pay attention here Mrs. G has been killing it in the cart today. She's an awesome cart operator. We finished that big field that we ran on the other side of the creek. Had a good day. This field here is like 35 acres. Finish this stuff up and then I've only got a 40 acre field of beans left. wait to be done. I don't know what I'd do without Mrs. G. She, uh, she helps me out an awful lot. She's a good lady. Nothing to see here. For a minute there, I thought something was wrong. That's acceptable bearing clearances. I think that I may have mentioned this earlier in this video about borrowing things. I don't normally borrow anything because this kind of uh, nonsense always happens. And yes, I greased it before I started. You know, I'm sure somebody's going to tell me that. But uh, literally have these two wagons. We'll finish filling that tin can. But I'm not sure she's going to make it. Anyway, I'm about done. I'll be done at this farm today. And then I just got one 40 acre field of beans left. And then I can move on to tillage and back to some shop work. And yeah. I'm ready to... Uh, to be done combining so i think i'll end this one here thanks for watching guys have a good weekend